me demonstrate how to get music working. So music files. From here you can add a USB drive if you had one plugged in. Um, in my case I haven't got anything plugged in. So I need to go down to add source. And from here you can add external addresses like a FTP server or a NAS. So in my case I'm using a NAS, so I'll go to browse. And my NES device supports UPnP. In other cases you can select like the Windows network or add your own network location if you know your your server names and your folder names and login information. But for the most part, I think most devices now support UN, uh, UPnP. So I'll select that and my NAS shows up along with my laptop. And from here I can select music as I'm in the music uh, folder. So the folder's there. Music again. And it will show all the directory. So now I just want to go down to OK. I'll leave the file name as NAS, click OK. And there we go, it's added here. So here's all the music that I've just added from my NAS. I can stream this over my network to the Raspberry Pi. You got on screen controls. As I said, once you get all the overlays up, it does become a little choppy. From here, full screen. There you go, cheap visualization. I have noticed that I cannot actually select any of the other visualization options. Again, I haven't really looked into it, it's not too much of a worry for me. But coming from a PC, we get really nice visualizations on the Project M. It's, it's a bit of a shame to miss it, but it's not not crucial to have. So going back into the song doesn't really help. Still doesn't come up with any visualization. Demonstrating it seeking. And there's various options to to tweak the um, visualization there. I'll leave it as it is for the minute. So close this box. Okay. Demonstrators, basically, all options you've got to to tweak the the background image. Just choose it to whatever you fancy. Of course, none of the other ones work, so I can't tweak those. No presets. Various. It doesn't matter which settings I choose for Project M, I, I can't get to display. Again, I've not really bothered looking into it, but I, I can do without it. Okay, so we'll go back. I can do the same thing for videos, so I can get all my movies to stream from the NAS device. So what I need to do here is go to Files again, go to Add Videos, and same as usual, I'll go to Browse. And same option as before, I can use UPnP. Of course, if you know any other login alternatives, you've got you've got the options down the bottom there. Okay. 
I'm going to select UPMP, go to NAS, videos in this case, folders, I'll select my movies. I'll bring up the whole directory. And from what I do here, because they all reside in this movies folder, I'm just going to select OK after this. If you were to select another folder, it would only display that film. So I'll just click OK. I'll leave the name as NAS again. And from here, this directory contains, and I can select movies, which I'll leave it at, and it will grab all the uh, the artwork and uh, the movie data, like the bloody cast and directors and all the all the artwork. And in my case, I've got movies that are in separate folders, so I'll put that scan recursively. I might as well leave that back on, to be honest. And don't need to touch that either. So from here, I can select settings, and I can turn off fan art or trailers, or I can select HD trailers to buffer, which for the sake of quickly watching a trailer, I'm not really interested in if it's in HD or not, so I'll leave that as off. Preferred languages, whatever, all to be changed to your liking. Click OK to finish, and then OK again. And do I want to refresh the info? Yes. And what this will do, this will take quite some time um, to grab all the artwork and director information and add it individually to your films. Okay, I'll go to NAS. And 720p MKV file. So there you go. Now we're showing 720p. And it streams and buffers very quickly. You get back and you can still search movies, or obviously, if you want to just start again the quick way, just save the laggy seeking, you can just select your file and it stream up again. Okay, so we can turn subtitles off. There you go. You can seek yet again. It seems very quick, it's just that, that pixelation issue, you just miss a few frames. It's a very, very smooth picture. No screen tearing, no pixelation issues I can see. No lag, very smooth picture. Right, I'm going to try Fast 5. This is a Blu-ray rip that's got 5.1 surround sound on and it's, it's quite a high quality rip. What I have noticed is that once you have the interface up it seems to stutter and it won't actually load and you get the popping noise from your speakers. I don't know whether this is down to the 5.1 DTS settings or just a lack of power on the, on the Raspberry Pi. Once you, uh, you right-click in my case and get the interface off, it seems to load fine. Okay, try seeking. And again, it will stutter and frame takes a little while to load, but once the interface is off the screen, it seems to play fine.